Hello guys and welcome to another video with me, Matthew Smith, and to my channel, Destination Discovery. In this uh, bit travel video today, you'll be seeing my epic trip uh, all the way from London to Estonia, all done in one day, as I always do. Um, going from uh, London to Estonia, I'll be flying into Capital Tallinn, uh, which is a small airport. Um, not many flights do actually fly to Estonia, um, if a few do. Um, and then when I get to Estonia, uh, Tallinn, I'll be going all the way through to the uh, city centre to get a coach, a three and a half hour coach ride from Tallinn to Narva, which is the southernmost city in Estonia, um, and it is bordering the country of Russia. Um, once I get to Narva, I'll be I'll have about an hour there or so, uh, and then returning by train back to Tallinn and back to the airport, and then fly back into Stansted Airport in London. And that is my trip. Um, it was very cold um, when I was out there, minus sixteen degrees. You heard me right; it was minus sixteen. It's the coldest temperature I've ever been in personally. I've been to many cold countries during winter months, but nothing as extreme as this. They used to out there. I'm not, as you'll see in the video later on. You can tell that I was really cold. Um, my coat wasn't enough. I really needed more. Uh, I think on uh, it was extreme cold, um, but I did get have fun playing in the snow then. So that was a bonus. Um, anyway, uh, I shall leave you to hear some facts about both Tallinn and Narva, uh, and then I'll get back to you at the end with some costume details. Enjoy this uh, film, and I'll see you later on. Now let's get on to some facts about this fascinating city. Tallinn is the capital of Estonia, lying on the Baltic Sea, and is the country's cultural hub. It retains its walled, cobblestoned old town, home to cafes and shops, as well as a 15th century defensive tower. Tallinn is one of the oldest capital cities in Northern Europe, with its origin dating back to the 13th century. The city was named European Capital of Culture in 2011, thanks to its vibrant arts and culture scene. The city is home to over 50 museums and galleries, from the Estonian History Museum to the Kumu Art Museum, Tallinn offers a wealth of cultural institutions to explore. Tallinn's Old Town is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It was built on a large limestone hill, one of the only hills in the country. The Old Town is lined with cobblestone streets, narrow alleyways, ruins of the medieval city wall, secret underground tunnels and churches. The Tallinn TV Tower is the tallest building in Estonia, rising to a height of 314 metres and offers panoramic views of the city and its surroundings. Tallinn is a very innovative city and has the greatest number of startups per capita in the whole of Europe. You could also become an e-resident, yep, you could. No longer needing any paperwork, Estonia is the first place in the world where you can register your company and go 100% digital when running your business. It was definitely practical during Covid times, however, it has gone so well the Estonian government has continued with the practice to this day. Tallinn has its own song festival and it is enormous. Song and dance festivals are in the blood of Estonians and its tradition dates back to 1869. This trendy festival is a true celebration with over a thousand kayas taking the stage and about 35,000 musicians and singers participating in the festival. Marzipan was invented in Tallinn during 1422 in the Town Hall Pharmacy, which still stands today and is still an operating pharmacy. Marzipan today is the most famous street in Northern Europe and the Town Hall Pharmacy was the first place to sell it, listing it as a medicinal product to cure the pain of lost love. Tallinn is home to Estonia's oldest cafe. The Maiso Mok Cafe has been in business since 1864. The interior of the shop has been the same for over 100 years and adds to its unique charm. You can also check out the Marzipan Museum on the premises. Tallinn's Christmas market has been ranked number one in Europe since 2019. The historical setting, well-preserved buildings and deep-rooted holiday traditions makes it the best place to host Europe's best Christmas market. 
very soon. The longest tunnel in the world will link Tallinn with Helsinki in Finland. To this day, travelling by rail between Lithuania, Latvia and Estonia is so complicated than going to St. Petersburg or Moscow in Russia. The Rail Baltica project aims at connecting the Baltic states and Poland to Germany and Western Europe. The Tallinn to Helsinki railway tunnel would be almost twice as long as today's rail's longest tunnel in the Alps. It would be 92 to 103 kilometres long and should be completed in the 2030s. Tallinn is also a popular filming location for Hollywood and international productions thanks to the city's historic architecture and enchanting atmosphere and have made it a sought after backdrop for movies and TV shows. It's the birthplace of Skype. The famous communication platform was developed by Estonian programmers and engineers in Tallinn. Now on to Narva. Narva is a city and municipality in Estonia and is located in the Ida for you county on the west bank of the river Narva which forms the Estonia to Russia international border. It is the third largest city in the country. Narva is officially divided into 15 districts which have no administrative functions. During the Battle of Narva almost the entire city was destroyed. In 1991, when Estonia regained its independence, Narva became a border town again. On February the 18th, 2014, a new border treaty was signed by both countries. The treaty has yet to be ratified by the parliaments of both Russia and Estonia. In the first-person shooter video game Squad, the Narva map is loosely based on the real city and includes the Narva castle. The vast majority in Narva, around 80% to be precise, are ethnic Russians and around 97% of residents speak Russian. Russian is their main language for normal conversation, even though Estonian is the official language. The other side of the river lies Ivan Gord with about 10,000 residents. It is a typical Russian provincial town with bad streets and run-down houses. Hello guys from Luton Airport. Uh, I join you today on this trip uh, over to Estonia. Uh, I'm going to Tallinn, the capital. Um, I'm, it's currently 3.14 in the morning, my flight departs at 10 past 6, so I've got about two and a half hours here at Luton uh, before departing towards Estonia. Um, what I wanted to do when I was playing this trip is go up to uh, Narva uh, in the south of the country uh, and show you the border of Russia and uh, see how close we can get to Russia. But unfortunately, time don't allow for that uh, when I was doing my planning, which is quite a trek to get up there. Have, have that being said, we are going up there uh, to have a look around this small town, uh, but it's a three minute walk uh, to get to the border and I just thankfully don't have that uh, time. I've done it once before, but I, but I wanted to share it with you guys um, because it's really fascinating to see the castle and stuff that uh, Russia has put up. But uh, there we go. Uh, but yeah, so my trip today is to, as I say, to Estonia, um, and I think it's cold now, uh, it's freezing, or well, it feels it, uh, right until I get to Estonia. The current forecast is for when I arrive, it's going to be minus 7 degrees, but the feel like temperature is going to be uh, minus... 12, minus 12 degrees to feel like temperature. Uh, by the time I, it comes to about 6pm, it's going to be minus 12, feels like minus 20. Uh, I've been to cold countries, I always go to cold countries during the winter, uh, because I love seeing the snow and stuff, but I've never been to a country that's been this cold before, uh, so it's going to be, you know, going to test all my body strength, I suppose, because at minus 20 degrees, um, I'm definitely going to feel it. Uh, without further ado, I shall uh, get back to you after security uh, here at Luton uh, and give you an update further on. Uh, I'll see you then. Let's 
and hello from a cold and snowy Estonia. I'm currently in Tallinn, the capital of this uh, country. Uh, it's snow everywhere, um, freezing cold. Minus seven currently feels like minus twelve. Uh, so my plan today is I'm going to head now to the city and on to the bus station where I'll be getting a coach, a Lux Express, uh, going to Nava near the border with Russia. And then once there, I'll have a little time to explore before getting the train back to um, New Year Mist. Uh, and then it's a 20 minute walk from the train station back to here, the airport. Uh, so let's see how this goes, shall we? Uh, I'll join you later on. some coach station. I'm just outside now. There's a temperature going just outside the bus station. It says it's minus six degrees currently and it is snowing. Um, it's snowing here in uh, Tallinn currently. Um, as you probably see from my video, uh, they've had loads of snow here, like it's usual for them every winter. Uh, so anyway, now I've got an hour here before my coach with Lux Express and I'm off to Nava, uh, which is the border of Russia, and I'll join you then after my three hour and a half hour coach journey. And hello from Narva. Uh, this is the most southern town in Estonia, uh, and we are only a 20 minute walk away from the Russian border. Um, this is the closest town in Estonia to Russia. Um, I was wanting to show you it, but unfortunately, we have no time here to show you the Russian border. Uh, I've been there once before from this side, and it's uh, amazing to see what they've done, uh, Russia, but uh, I have no time to show you that, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, so uh, the temperature's dropped significantly. It's currently minus 16 degrees, feels like minus 22. I was on the coach, I woke up from my sleep, and I could see it was like a blizzard outside, just snow falling everywhere. Um, it's nice to see, it's nice and pretty actually, because we're in the middle of the countryside. Um, but yeah, uh, it's it's freezing. Temperature's definitely dropped now, it's got dark. Um, 
minus 16 is the coldest I've ever been in. Uh, it definitely feels like it, all right. You can actually see the steam from my mouth. So you can see how cold it actually is. So anyway, uh, so here I'm getting the train in about 20 minutes. Uh, <coughs> it's about three hour train ride. And to a stop called Yulu Mist, and then from there, I've got a 20 minute walk to the airport in this freezing weather. Uh, I shall get back to you uh, once I get off the train. time of your life I want to figure out what it takes to give you everything you desire I want to lay beneath the stars with you in the back of my truck I guess that this is what they call love Baby, you've been driving me crazy For so long now I've been waiting on the sidelines Hello from Yulimi Lista Station uh, I'm here uh, after my three hour train ride uh, and now it's a 17 minute walk back to the airport to catch my flight with Ryanair into London Stansted. Um, what I felt to mention earlier was that your Lux Express uh, coach is actually quite luxury. Uh, I suppose it says it in the title, uh, but it's got an uh, in seat entertainment system. You can watch live TV. Films, TV shows, games, uh, you name it, you can do it on there. You can even access the internet. Um, it was quite comfortable as well. Um, but I failed to mention that earlier, so I thought I'd mention it now. But yeah, so I've got this 17 minute walk now back to uh, the airport. Uh, it's currently about 20 past 7, so I'll get there about 7.40 my flight departs at 9.40 this evening. It's running slightly late though, my flight, so no rush. Uh, and I'll join you back in the airport. So, I hope you enjoy seeing my cold and snowy adventure to Estonia. Now let's get my mass brain on once again and get into the numbers and figures of how much this trip actually costed me. Let's start, shall we? Firstly, the outbound flight from London Luton to Tallinn booked through Trip.com came to a total of £34.60 and pence, or €40.32. Euros and 32 cents. Food and drink whilst in the UK costed me eighteen pounds and thirty-three pence, or twenty-one euros and thirty-six cents. Bus from Tallinn Airport to the city centre costed me one pound and seventy-two pence, or two euros. Nuts Express coach from Tallinn to Narva costed a total of eight pounds and ninety-two pence or 10 euros and 40 cents. The train operated by Aulwon from Narva to Ulemeist near Tallinn costed me 10 pounds and 21 pence or 11 euros and 90 cents. Food and drink whilst in Estonia costed me 14 pounds and 58 pence or 17 euros. The return flight from Tallinn to Stansted Airport, but through Ryanair directly, costed me twelve pounds and one pence or fourteen euros. So the grand total of this trip came to 
100 pounds and 37 pence or translated into euros 116 euros and 98 cents so all in all actually it was a pretty cheap flight uh, and it's a pretty cheap trip all around Estonia um this was actually one of the cheapest trips I've done, but Estonia is a very cheap country to spend stuff uh, in, uh, cheap prices and what so. But anyway, I hope you enjoy this video, and please remember to like, subscribe, and share this video uh, with your friends and family. Until next time, happy travelings and good night. Mm -hmm.